Looking for the ultimate camping experience that combines adventure with entertainment? You're ready to join me as I test out this inflatable tent from Timu. Not only is it shelter during a rainy weekend, but also as a canvas for an epic outdoor movie night. So this is the inflatable tent I got off Timu, which I will be staying in this weekend. I wanna see if filling it up, if I'll have to refill it, if it'll last all weekend. But I will say, just at first glance, this thing feels really, really nice. Yeah. I mean, feel this? Ooh. Super thick, yeah. nice. And so when we fill this thing up, it'll literally fill up in just a matter of, of seconds here. All these compartments fill up with air, and we're gonna use this as our theater, our movie screen tonight. Heck yeah. This movies? There's no movies in camping. I brought a <laughs> a small travel projector nice. that we're gonna plug in to our small battery. Yeah. We're gonna project it onto a, <laughs> a white inflatable tent. Yeah, yep. yeah, this thing is nice and clean too, look at that. And, but I really wanted to see, you know, how does this thing do? Will it hold up? Will it stay up for yeah. more than a day? Oh wow, that does go pretty quick. It goes very fast. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, it's done, huh? That was fast. Super fast. How big of a screen is that? 80? Maybe four feet or so. Better be more than four feet. Or else that's a little eight-year-old. Oh yeah, you're right. It's gotta be six at least. Yeah, you're right. Put it about right here. You know, the the only thing I don't like how they put windows on the outsides. Yeah. Don't like that. Um it seems like a lot of them are like that these days. It seems like they're starting to go that way. So the roll up and into here again. That's a little weird. Super weird. <laughs> Super weird. But it did come with um, a couple things. So you get oh, a yeah, little you can awning make a little awning if you want to. Yeah. Ooh, it's all silver on the inside. Look at that. No, it might be nice to. You know, why is that all silver on this? Maybe if we turn it inside out, it would reflect right. better for the <laughs> yeah. movie. Right. Might have to do that. That's funny. So let me put a couple of stakes in the ground here. Do we need to turn it a little bit? Yeah, turn it slightly this way. We're gonna face this thing to the fire. That way, mm -hmm. when we're sitting by the fire, we can project our movie onto it. Just screw it into the ground. Well, it's a movie theater, Steve. Right. <laughs> but not only that, man, this, it is thick, really good That's material. That's a little peculiar. And it's the same as this material right well, here. What does it mean? It's got those big old tabs that stick out. Yeah. It's kind of weird. I might have to trade you. I like this one. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of wish maybe this was a little bit different, but at least it's not like the other one where you zip it down and then it hits the ground and oh, everything. Oh yeah, that was kind of weird. Do you need to zip these just because it is going to be raining. Yeah, we're gonna have some rain. And there's no separate rain fly on this one. No, this is a single That's wall a tent. a single wall tent. Let's take a look on the inside, Steve. Very <coughs> basic in here. So like you said, it does have the silver. Maybe that will aid with the heat, heat reflection. reflection yeah. There are no hangers except for one right here. So you can, you can hang a lantern right here, oh, and that yeah. is it. Normally you need one for your lantern, right. and then may, I like to have a little bit of storage, so you know, we may have to do a uh, is there pimp, no... pimp my tent, right. <laughs> and add, add a couple. All it really is lacking is a couple There's no little pockets things. or anything? There are no pockets. Oh, here comes the rain. Here comes the rain? Yeah. We'll see you later. All right. <laughs> 
I just noticed something I'm not crazy about. You might say, Tony, you're overreacting. Okay. You know me and, and spiders, bugs, I don't mind them. We go camping every week. I don't mind them. But at the same time, you, oh, they need to stay out. About. They need to stay outside. I just saw it, yep. Velcro? Velcro at the bottom. Really? So So it only zips on the sides. The inner tent zips <coughs> on the sides. Huge mistake in my in, Yeah, that is not sealed shut. No, a giant rattlesnake or Copperhead wants to get you. Yeah, and, you can just crawl right through the corner piece there. Yeah. And what would it take literally to have the zipper just go like that? <laughs> right. That is. That is not good. I don't like it. No, it, it should have literally. Yeah. Spiders, mites. Yeah. Uh, what, what do we have around here? Rattlesnakes. Chiggers. Bears. Bears, <laughs> they'll get American right, fit right they'll through that. They'll fit right through that thing. Dude. They won me with at least zipping down yeah, instead of up, good. but then they, they lost me. So maybe if you're just in the real wintertime camping and it's cold and you ain't worried about none of that stuff, which is normally... And the we, silver reflective right. stuff will, will, will help keep you, you warm, yeah. Okay. No bugs crawling around on me tonight. tent and with with my trusty light on here and let's shut it off you want to watch Steve some Netflix it's awesome Netflix and chill mm. and if we could get those wrinkles out of the tent somehow that would be but that is not bad at all. Just wild to have a white tent. Right, so just my luck. Um, looks like because of the rain, this tent is starting to leak. I'm seeing some right here. We're seeing water it is pulling right down there. It's dripping right in here. I wouldn't even say it's raining all that bad right now. I mean, it's raining pretty good, but it's not raining all that bad. And it's coming in here. It's coming in over here on the other side. And then I'm seeing it down here. So the bad thing is, um, it is getting my sleeping bag wet just a little bit, but I've only been in here probably 20 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and go out and grab my stuff and get in another tent that I brought with me. Cause I wasn't sure if this one was gonna hold up and I was right. Um, so might make a good movie screen, but not so much um, an all weather tent. Uh, I'm starting to see some more drips. I'm even starting to see some drifts up in the ceiling here. Not exactly sure how that's even possible. Uh, maybe it's condensation or something, but I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff, move into another tent that I've got set up. And uh, I'll check this one in the morning just to uh, see how much water it actually collected, but I'm not feeling comfortable sleeping in here when this is I've only been in here 20 minutes and I've got this much this much water flowing in here. Wow, it looks like we've got some more up here. Weird. Alright everybody, I am in the safety of my REI Half Dome 2 SL Plus. And uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to set everything up. Um, I had to kind of pack everything away to get out of the rain and get it over here. So 
That shouldn't take me but about five minutes, but I will give you an update on how that tent over there looks in the morning. We'll see you in a bit. All right, let's take a look at this thing. And then next morning. There's a lot of water. One back there. And it built up in all the corners, it looks like. So that would have been flooded out last night. Good thing I made the great escape when I did. Alright, so definitely won't be using this one as much more than a uh, movie background or silver screen. Unfortunately, it's going to be raining all weekend, so I won't be staying in this one. But if you like this sort of content, please hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss another video. We'll see you next week. Have a great day, everybody.